Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Victory, victory. Feels good to be able to stream and you catch me, Grifter, being our, you know, the, my biggest backer and supporter on here for 10 consecutive months. And Joe also being able to catch us earlier 11 months in a row. Like, you guys, thank you for what you do for this channel and for me. Um, you have no idea how much that stuff helps. I mean, I'm sure you, you do know. I'm sure you have an idea, but holy cow, it's, it, it's much appreciated. I th oh, this does oh, that that little it, that little axe thing. It does open up something else, but I think it opens it in the Arctic. So I think this is the only this might be the only thing to use it on here, which is good. But we're gonna we can start off this episode with a nice cutscene. Thank goodness there's an extra jet, and good thing Chris is an Air Force pilot. Hold on, Claire. I'll see. I feel like he was narrating that, but like... <laughs> but it sounds like something he would say out loud. But his lips didn't move. Here we go. What are those coordinates, dude? This is the man. Uh-oh, only one seat on that plane. He doesn't know about Steve Burnside. I feel like if you're doing a movie version of this game, that's something I would probably do is, uh... I would either keep Steve's character in, or I would make it to where Leon and Claire got caught, so that way you can continue the story from the second movie. Like, let's say you're doing Resident Evil as a trilogy. Um, you, you, could, uh, you could be like, alright, well, Chris and, um... Or Claire and Leon got captured. And, uh... And so when Chris comes to save them, uh, he when he gets here to save them, he doesn't know Leon's also here. He doesn't know about Leon and or Steve, whoever. And you give him a moment where he has to, where he has to like, it's almost like that moment from Armageddon or whatever, where he's like letting his daughter go. You know, he's like letting his sister go. He's like, he puts her and Steve... Oh my god. He puts her and Steve in the, in the uh, ship. Oh man, what? So you can have like this moment at the end where Chris is like, you know what, I'm going to stay, I'm going to make sure Wesker dies and he doesn't hurt anyone else if you're going to end it as like a trilogy. And then he makes a sacrifice and he puts Claire and Leon into the, or Claire and Steve, whoever, whatever characters you want to write in there, and you have them go in and get on the plane or, and take off. There's only two seats. So Chris stays behind and dukes it out with Wesker. Say what? I feel like ice and snow would slow zombies down. Like, I know they're undead, but I mean, come on, don't be ridiculous. Oh shit! What the fuck is that thing? Oh damn! 
Oh shit! All right, we need a we need to heal right now. Wow. All right, we never have to come in here again, so I'm not gonna waste any more ammo. What the f were those things? I forgot that they shoot like little parasites at you. Oh, look at that thing down there. Man, how did I forget about that thing? I was like, earlier, I was like, oh man, I completely forgot about the, the spiders in this game, the little spiders. Hell, there's a giant spider in this game. What? He's here? Yeah, this one I don't think you can avoid. I think it immediately... Yeah, it gets you immediately. Now we're just going to leave. <laughs> I don't need no, no trouble right now. We'll see how far we get in like in about thirty minutes. We'll see where we're at and we'll decide from there for where we keep when we keep going. All right, something else here. Let's take it. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. Don't have the fire extinguisher just in case. Whoa, what's that? Oh, shiny, let's go get it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Square hole. Okay, so this is where. Yeah, gotcha. That's where we need to use the, the wheel. Obviously. Oh, hey, extinguisher! All right. Sweet. Good thing I brought it. I, I honestly thought we did, but I was like, oh, maybe it's in... I mean, every time we don't do something immediately, I automatically think it's in the other person's game. I'm like, oh, it's got to be in Claire's game. Oh, it's got to be in Chris's game. Um, I just don't trust my memory. This place is still the same, man. Water n never got in here, huh? Magnum. Nice. So Claire set that dynamite up, and boom. A little explosion. Wow. There's a lot of handgun ammo. I'll take all of it. Thank you, Claire. Oh, look at this. Whoa. It's a big high. Thanks. Oh, this is where... That's where... Oh, right. That's where... This is where Alfred uh, Ashford went. He was leaning against that wall and that cutscene bleeding all over it. I just like seeing Noah beat people up. Oh, yeah. Uh, Noah's hot. Uh, uh, what's that? I saw that they're doing another Capcom movie together, her and her husband. I think Miljovic and Paul Anderson are doing a um, Monster Hunter movie. I think it goes into, it's going to start filming like this fall. Like, how crazy is that? I did not see that coming. Let's, I think we have to check this. A, a King Heart Spade. I think that's the order we got to go in.
has an umbrella logo on it too. Oh. Whoa. He's already dead. Yeah, but he's got something on his hand, I think. Yeah. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, not sorry. Virus report. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, so Alexia, whenever she was like a child prodigy, she froze herself down here. Injected herself with the T Veronica virus and was like, alright, I gotta I gotta like um survive for like ten years down here. Um but I think she's woken prematurely. I think that's the whole thing with this. Is that she's awoken prematurely. I think I think Alfred woke her up too soon. It's fucking movie and it doesn't matter. The crow's a freaking A plus. Yeah, that movie's fucking top notch. Hey Unseen, thank you for the host, dude. Welcome everybody that came in from Unseen's stream. Appreciate you being here. By the way, if you guys are D and D fans and Tech Space Games fans, I think uh, Unseen has a a dope game he's developing uh, called Tales of the Undead. So it's like a zombie D and D game. But uh, if you want to hit him up for info, feel free to. Uh, another movie that came out after Dark, uh, after The Crow was Dark City. Um, I think the it got a couple good reviews, but I think most of them were were um, Cisco and Ebert. Cisco and Ebert, especially Roger Ebert, he loves Dark City. Uh, he loves that movie almost as much as I do, probably a little bit more than I do. Um, but I love that movie a lot. And that was another one where I was like, all right, this is a movie for me. Nobody, nobody else has to like it. Okay, so let's get into this. We got the crane key. Let's wake up Daddy, aka Nosferatu. So we got that ring jewel now, and now we have his jewel. He's gonna drop his earring. Oh. Grifter said he was supposed to do a Alien vs. Predator marathon this week of all the Predator movies and all the Alien movies and all the AVP movies. Um, would you have, what order would you have watched them in? Would you have gone like one Alien, one Predator? Um, that's a that's a hefty week. I you know I've never seen Alien Covenant. Uh, we played the Alien Isolation game. We talked about it a lot, but that's another one of those movies like Solo where I was just like I saw the trailer and I'm like I'm not interested. I don't care where the aliens come from. I actually don't think that's a story that needs to be told. I always liked the fact that it was just, oh, it's an alien. It's an alien, <laughs> like out in space somewhere. Uh, and that's what just—that's the kind of aliens that are out there in space. I just—I like the mystery of, oh fuck, we could—if we wander out in space far enough, we're gonna run into these things. I think that's far scarier than like genetic, you know, experimentation and... So yeah, I never saw Alien Covenant. Alright, we gotta heal now. Alright, we got it! A totally optional boss. <laughs> but we killed it. Because we didn't have to really fight him. We could have uh, could just kept going. But I was determined. Claire, we're coming to rescue you! 
And what's behind this door? Just the coolest little thing in this game, in my opinion. One of the coolest things. Uh, if you're going to bring your villain back from Resident Evil 1 and Wesker, you got to bring back the mansion. Uh, and obviously you saw we kind of got into some of the mansion rooms. I remember the first time I played this, I don't think I came in this door and saw this. I think I was in this room where you get the map and stuff, like because we, you know, that you get to there from the other side. Um, but I actually didn't come in this way. And I, so I saw the map room first, which I don't know if that's intentional. The game wants, you know, that does happen though. I think some people in their first time through did, you know, experience that. So it's, it's neat. It's neat that they they had uh, that stuff. And well, here, let's explore real quick before we go rescue our sister. Um, oh, so those where the jewels go. There's a earring. Yeah, so there's there's three jewels we need to get. And that's where they go. Nothing up here. What's this? Oh, another knife. Nah, we don't need it. We have our own. Um, well, you know what? We'll just take it just in case. We never have too many knives. Crystal, crystal double fist, man. He'll have one in each hand. All right, that's locked. So yeah, I would go get the jewels and put them there, but it's all right. We can have a Claire or someone else do it. Let's go rescue Claire. And you're like, hey, where is Claire? Well right here. Claire. Finally. Chris. And these two haven't seen each other in like you so much. four months. I think the last time Claire saw Chris was when she helped him move into Raccoon City when he first started with we the stars, which I think was like a month or so before the events of the first game. From that island with me, but then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. Claire? What's wrong? I think... I think I've been... Poisoned. Just hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot about this part. What do we gotta get? That's where we're supposed to go. Oops. Yeah, I guess this is... Yep, right there. Oof. Claire. I'll take care of you now. Feeling better? Thanks to you. Just like a big brother, huh? You're always looking out for your little sister. <laughs> oh. It's Alexia! Alexia. Why do all the villains like laugh Alexia? maniacally? <laughs> it is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. <laughs> After her, she might know where Steve is. Let's go. Ooh, I love this. The, a big action scene in the Resident Evil Mansion. This, yeah, it's fantastic. There's Alexia's big summoning tentacle that she controls. Chris! Uh. No! Oh. Just go. I'll be fine. But Chris... You've got to save Steve. Go! Get him, Claire.
Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Take two. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, you have to like heal after each hit. There's like, wow, that's intense. Whew. Well, at least we made it. And now she's locked in there, isn't she? Oh, that sucks. Whoa. Oh! Oh, this is that moment. Test your loyalty. Are you part of the, the hive or not? Come on, Steve. Snap out of it. You can do it, bro. You've done some creepy stuff earlier, but you got a good heart, man. Pull through, pull through. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I don't remember being that close. <laughs> oh, man. Yes! Steve, you're the ma- oh! I heard something crack. Oh, Steve. Oh, he turned back. Is he dying? Shrinkage? Hey, come on, he was just a monster. Give him, give him, give him a little bit of credit. She should have, like, knocked him into the okay. pipes that he bent uh, outwards and, like, been impaled or something. Because I just heard something crack, but, like, what is it, spine break? Brother kept his promise. I'm sorry, I cannot. What? What are you saying? I'm glad that I met you. I... Don't say it. I love you. Oh, God. Claire. You just met, dude. He's got Steve. those feelings for her. Steve. And I'm ruining a really sad moment right now, I know. Steve. Dang. Oh. Sorry, Steve. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?